Hey, everybody. Let's pick up where we left off last time, where you <laughs> put my window out here. Okay, there you go. Where we left off with the using the line tool. Well, this line tool allows you to use straight lines or it allows you to um, freehand draw lines around the environment. Well, the tool directly below that is actually the arc tool. And what an arc is, is a curved line. And it gives you several different ways to do that. Um, this first one lets you establish a center by left clicking your beginning point, pulling out some distance away from that. That's the radius of the arc you're going to make from the center of what would be a circle, except you're just going to make a curved line. You're not going to do the whole circle. What would be the center of the circle out away from that to the edge of that arc. That's what you're doing with the second click. And then when you move after your two clicks, you're basically drawing your curved line or your arc. You could see it as a portion of a circle. If you come all the way around, well, I guess in essence, you've drawn a circle at that diameter, but it doesn't like that. It wants you to use a circle tool to do that. So, boom, there you've drawn an arc, an unfinished circle, if you will, at that diameter. on the ground. Depending on your point of view in this environment, you're going to get a different result. If you wanted that arc to be up in the air, you might as well get lower to the ground so that you're guaranteed for this program to think that you must want that up on the Y axis up here. So the lower you go and then you draw your arc, you'll see your protractor turn green. And you can even put it in the air. It doesn't have to be on the ground. I could left click up here in the air. And it's green, so I'm pretty sure it's um, it looks vertical from here. That's the distance away from center I want to be. I start drawing my arc, and then I left click a third time, and there's my arc up in the air. So cool! You can do anything in here. Like gravity does not exist here. And so here you have a floating arc. Let's try the other arc tools. The two point arc is a really fun one because you establish two points between which you're going to bend an arc. So if you left click one time, that's your starting point left click a second time, that's your ending point. And then from there, you can either pull this thing across on the X axis, or if you just be patient and you move what you think is straight up, it'll say on blue axis. That means on this Y axis. And so you can have this arc going up in the air if you want. And look in the right <laughs> right of your screen the bottom right of your screen it says bulge well how high do you want that arc to be like literally i could start pulling this arc at all of these angles around between vertical and horizontal and i can have it at this other angle and it says bulge three feet eight and a half inches i could type in four actually click it in place type in four and you'll see it change in that window for apostrophe, that's four feet, enter. And I can have an arc with a bulge of four feet out in the direction that I was pulling it. Okay? Like that. That's a two-point arc. Another one is sort of like a three-point arc. You click one time, come over here, click a second time. And between those two, you'll have some sort of pie section or bending arc shape. And then your third click establishes that arc in that position. Okay. I'm going to undo. I'll leave those there. And then the last one is a pie section. A pie section arc is allowing you to click one time on your protractor, click a second time, left click, and pull it around. And the difference between this and the first one is that it's actually going to close it up for you, give you an entirely closed shape. So now you don't have an open pie section. You have a closed pie section. Click one time, come out at the distance you want, click again, and you can stop right there. It'll make your little piece of pizza pie right there with that last arc tool. So that's different than this one, which is the first arc tool. Very similar. Click one time, pull out the distance, the radius you want, pull it around, except it's not closing it up for you. It's leaving it totally open. Okay, so that's the arc tool in a nutshell.
for you to understand how to use curved lines.